Hello, hello, hello. Today we are going to talk about singleton design pattern. Design patterns helps us to have a beautiful, maintainable, extensible, reusable solution in a given context. And today in this tutorial, we are going to explore singleton design pattern. In some cases, people call it anti pattern or the pattern, but it doesn't matter for us right now. We are just focusing the concrete implementation, the easiest implementation of singleton design pattern. Of course, singleton design pattern has multiple implementations. You can use double checking static metric implementation and also so the laser loading implementation which I'm going to show you in this video and you will understand what type of problems will solve our implementation at the end. So let's dive in. First, let's try to understand what is a singleton design pattern. Singleton design pattern ensure that you have only one instance for the given object or exactly say it, you are restricting instances for your object. You can have more than one instance. The purpose of singleton is to isolate the object creation and also manage object creation. Okay. So for example, every time you're creating an object, but singleton allows you to restrict object creation you may have only one instance uh, in whole project or you may have four five instances in whole project so purpose here is to restrict you to create an object so you see this is a creational pattern we have a restriction for object creation and it provides only one single access point for the given object so you have some sort of global object and different modules different classes are able to access this module to access your singleton to retrieve the instance as we mentioned before, you can implement singleton design pattern using multiple ways. For example, you can use classical implementation, which is not preferred. You can use the laser loading mechanism, which I'm going to show you right now. You can implement singleton design pattern using static class uh, with static methods. You can implement singleton design pattern also with double checking mechanism. So it is up to you which version to use. Also, it depends from your project requirements. Right now, let's focus on classical singleton implementation and see what's wrong with classical implementation when you adapt Goff's singleton implementation directly to your .NET projects. Okay. So first things first, we need to understand that a singleton allows uh, limits access to the given resource. So for example, we have some resource I will implement like file based resource. So let's use it class file resource. Okay. This is my resource file resource. And for my file resource, I want to restrict object creation in a classical manner. When you use your file resource like this file resource, you can mm, use implementation form like this new file resource. Okay, new file resource. And that's total okay, but you will have uh, you will end up with multiple instances every time when you access the constructor of your class. That's why we need to provide a private constructor. Okay, let's limit object creation like this, and it will not allow to uh, your clients to instantiate your file resource like this. Okay, that's great. Now we have limitation for our constructor and we need to implement private static file resource null, which is going to provide a special method called get instance or create instance. That's total up to you. I think the get instance version is good to implement right now. I will have a static method called uh, get instance. Of course, don't forget to add the seal it for your class. And now what I'm going to uh, implement, I will check if instance is null, then let's instantiate because we have private constructor, but it doesn't block you to instantiate file resource internally. Right now we are internally instantiating our file resource. And at the end, I'm returning my instance. Okay, that's great. That's the easiest way. That's the classical way of not easiest, but, but classical way of implementing our uh, singleton design parents. So let's just file resource 
dot get instance or create instance it is up to you how to call it so that's our classical implementation of singleton design pattern but we have a bit problems using this implementation because unfortunately the biggest problem here is we don't have concurrency mechanism we don't have concurrency checking here because let's say we have two threads and they are trying to access trying to get the instance of the file resource at the same time so one of your threads will come here and uh, the other thread also will stay here and your first thread will enter your next thread also will enter and that's why at the end you will end up with having two instances for your file resource and this is not a good way this is not a proper way of implementing a singleton design pattern in c sharp let's see how we are planning to implement it okay now let's implement our better version of singleton design pattern in c sharp which allows us to not to struggle with concurrency issue and also to have laser loading mechanism that's why i'm just going to have a separate class public seal it class let's call it lazy file resource okay this is our laser loading mechanism let's just format it and what i am going to do of course i need first to block our lazy file resource to be instantiated from outside and i'm going to use private static read only lazy loading mechanism why because lazy loading helps us to have an instance when we really need it and also to not to have concurrency issue and the only thing we need to do here public static it will return our lazy file resource let's call it just instance of course for the first version you can also implement it using getter and setter mechanism like get but having get instance is also total okay so now we have this is our second version which allows us to not to have concurrency issue and also to load our file using laser loading concurrency okay great let's just call it lazy file resource lazy file resource lazy file resource dot instance well when you have multiple threads you will not have the problem which you have in your file resource is that really all well from the singleton perspective yes but from the variation of singleton of course not you will have different versions of singleton implementation as i mentioned you may have static class implementation double checking implementation or ambient context implementation uh you will have the laser loading implementation you may have the even if you don't have a concurrence environment you may have the classical implementation right now i will show you one of the popular version of singleton implementation called double checking mechanism with singleton and let's see it i will have public seal it class double check um, file resource file resource okay this is our double check file resource for the double check file resource we will have a bit complex implementation because we'll use volatile keyword we'll use multiple checking mechanism we'll use concurrency checking like log so uh, stay tuned let's see what we have we have private static volatile db file the check file resource this is our instance and we have private static read only lock why because for the concurrency locking we are using uh you can use monitor mutex the lock itself so we have a separate tutorials about this so just check the tutorials if you don't know why we are doing like this and we have volatile keyword for the concurrency environment the cpu may change the order of your operations you're using volatile to not to allow your optimization to change the order okay and let's have our private check file resource because we don't want to 
allow our file resource to be instantiated and here is our implementation so you see it is automatically generated that's good so we have instance we are checking this is our first check first check okay we are checking if instance is null then we are locking and then we are checking if instance is null again if yes then we are assigning our the check file resource and at the end we are returning our instance i'm waiting for you in our comment section to explain this topic to explain the d check file resource in more detail so that's all from my side I'll see you in the next tutorials.